broad principle, absolutely yes. Um, so we are um, Huntington's is probably the 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 classic example, I suppose, of a condition around which there have been very strict c criteria developed around testing of individuals and predictive testing of family members because of the very, very severe implications and the implication, you know, and the, the, the sort of um, severity of the diagnosis, which really is telling someone that they have a life-threatening disease for which there is really no therapy. Um, obviously, as, as treatments maybe become more of something we can offer patients, then there may be a little bit more that we can offer patients. So there are many ethical questions. We generally would not test somebody before they had been through some sort of predictive testing program and um, a genetic counselling program to ensure that they actually wanted to be tested and wanted to know this information going forward. Typically, we would not test children because this is not a childhood manifesting disease. We would wait for people to be of an age where they can make an informed decision and decide for themselves that they would want to be tested for Huntington's disease. There are many issues. There are many issues around prenatal testing. So again, it can be offered, but there, there are many ethical issues that arise um, around predictive and pre-symptomatic testing, particularly, and doing those kind of things without the consent of the individual concerned.